Hey there! In this quick installation video, we'll demonstrate how to enhance user access security for the Roundcube webmail client using Protectimus two-factor authentication. All in under 5 minutes. All installation and configuration instructions for Roundcube and other systems you want to secure with two-factor authentication are on Protectimus's documentation page. Find the links in the video description. Now, let's dive into the installation. First of all, register with Protectimus Cloud Service by following these steps. Visit Protectimus website at protectimus.com. Click on Sign Up. Complete the registration form and click Sign Up. Confirm your email address. After getting registered, configure basic settings in Protectimus. Log in to your Protectimus account. Go to Resources and click Add Resource. Enter any resource name. Other parameters are optional. If you want your users to enroll and manage their tokens themselves, you may also set up the user's self-service portal. Open the resource details by clicking its name. Navigate to the self-service tab, click the link, and specify the address at which your users will access the self-service portal. Choose the actions that will be available to your users. By default, all actions are disabled. We recommend enabling users to register their tokens themselves. Don't forget to streamline the list of token types available to them. You can also activate any other actions you want. Now, head to the Users tab and click Add User. Enter the user login, making sure it matches the Roundcube username. If you've activated the self-service portal, Ensure users have a password or email on file for logging in. Users with both a password and a registered email address will use the password. For those with only an email, a verification code will be sent to the registered email address. For additional details on the self-service portal, check the description. If you prefer not to use the self-service portal, you can add tokens manually. Let's do it now. Navigate to the Tokens tab and click Add Token. For testing purposes, it's recommended to select the Protectimus Smart App as your token. It's the simplest option. Maintain the default settings. Enter your chosen token name and click the Show QR Code button. Download and open the Protectimus Smart Two-Factor Authentication App. Then, scan the QR code. Enter the one-time password from the token to complete the registration. The token has been successfully created. Now go to the Users tab to assign this token to the user you've created previously. Click Assign Token, choose Existing, select the created token, and click Assign. Afterward, move to the Resources tab to assign the token with the user to the resource. Click Assign, choose Token with User, Select your token and click Assign. You can then open the resource and confirm that the token with the user has been successfully assigned. Once all the prep work is done, it's time to set up the Protectimus plugin for Roundcube. First, download it from GitHub or the Protectimus website. The links are in the description. Then, place the Protectimus OTP authentication directory into the Plugins folder of your Roundcube installation. Activate the Protectimus OTP authentication plugin in config slash my.inc.php using the command displayed on the screen. Next, Open and modify plugins slash protectimus OTP authentication slash configing PHP. Input your API username, API key, 
and resource ID, which you can find in your Protectimus profile. Pay attention to other settings. With these two options, you can allow or deny users the ability to enable or disable two-factor authentication in their Roundcube accounts themselves. If you plan to use the Protectimus self-service portal, these settings allow you to decide whether to display the self-service portal link to your users on the Roundcube login page. You'll see how it looks later. Important note, if you're using a theme skin other than the default, remember to rename the skin folder in this plugin. Let's check if the Roundcube two-factor authentication plugin installed successfully. As you can see, we now need to enter the one-time password to log into the Roundcube account. Additionally, there's a link to the Protectimus user's self-service portal, based on our settings. Keep in mind that you can disable this in the plugin settings and the link will not be shown. Now when we move to the Roundcube settings, we see that the end user can enable and disable two-factor authentication in their account. Keep in mind that this also can be modified in the plugin settings, and only the administrator will decide whether two-factor authentication will be required or not. We've successfully set up Protectimus two-factor authentication for Roundcube webmail client. Great job! If you have any questions, please contact our support team anytime.